Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Okay, guys, I'm uh, preparing some sausages. These are some Italian sausages. I'm kind of taking them out of the case. I mean, it, it can be a little messy, but I'm doing this. Uh, just preparing this for some monticelli and just getting it all out of there. Sometimes I don't like the skin on there. And you just taking Italian sausages and breaking it off of the skin. Any Italian sausage that you want to use because it's all about your seasoning, not, uh, not it, it. You know, you try to buy a real expensive Italian sausage, you don't have to do that neither. Seasoning is everything. It's everything. And then I'm going to put the vegetables in here while I'm cooking. Uh, bell peppers and uh, the uh, onions and stuff. So, green and red peppers. So, we, uh, Okay, I am browning the Italian sausages. Is uh, I'm just browning them, cooking, trying to get it browned up so I can. Uh, I'm gonna drain this in a few seconds so I can add my seasoning. I'm gonna take it, let, take it, and let uh, drain some of this little water fat off of it. But once I cook it so far, then I'm gonna add the vegetables to it. And uh, then I'm going to put the seasoning in here in a few seconds. So. Guys, I just drained it, took some of that fat off of there, and I'm putting it back in here. Now I'm going to add the seasoning so I won't lose so much of my seasoning when I drain it. So it's like that. So I'm going to sprinkle, what is that, about uh, half a, like a tablespoon, half a tablespoon of uh, pepper. I'll probably add uh, another half once I get cooking when the sauce is going. This is some Italian seasoning. This is like two tablespoons. Putting that in there because you know you're doing pasta, so you gotta be Italian. And don't be scared of the garlic. Add the garlic. You know. And we got some onion powder here. I'm sprinkling. You see me now? I do it look like I'm playing, and I'm scared to have to go and buy some more. I don't have time for that. You, you scared and you. Too cheap to buy most uh, seasoning. I don't know what to tell you. So, hold on, let me add some of look. This, uh, what is this? Goya uh, uh, Adobo? I don't know how to say it. All purpose seasoning. So, I just use this a little bit. Give it a little sprinkle like that. I'm do that. I'm going to add some parsley. Went to the store today to get me some fresh garlic parsley. I was too tired. There was a lot of people in the store, so I didn't have time to go back in there and get some more. But this, it don't matter. Once I get the mixing in this up and put all these vegetables to it, and you don't even know the difference. So right now, I cut me up some scallions, and I'm gonna add these in here with that. See that? Putting that in. That was like a whole pack of uh, scallions. Uh, the whole thing, you know, when they come in one, you buy two and get one. You buy uh, two for a dollar or whatever they have it. Put those in there, and this is red bell pepper, green bell pepper. I put one whole green bell pepper and a half of red bell pepper. But it, it all depends on how much you're cooking for. Cause I'm, I'm just making a, a, a small pan, not no big one like for no party. So this is how much I'm doing. If you're doing a party, use the whole bell pepper, whole both of them, you know. So it's colorful right there. Isn't that like that? Yeah. So if you don't want all that fat. Please drain your meat, you know. And keep your sink from stopping up. Make sure you use bleach in your dish water and pull bleach down in there every once in a while and keep the sink open. Well, that's another story. We ain't talking about plumbing. But anyway, we're going to talk about this here. Is mixing up. See how colorful and nice and it's really, really, really it's going to be good. I'm going to add the salt in a minute. So, um, I wanted to add, oh, let me do this too. Sometimes you diabetic, you might not want to do this, but I'm going to add probably, what's that, about a tablespoon of sugar just to take that bite out of the, the, uh, the um, tomato sauce when it goes in. 
so it won't because sometimes tomato sauce is hearty and you just want a little bit to bring that flavor out. This here alone, you can sit here and eat this with a spoon. It's delicious. You know, so we're going to do this and hold on. I'm going to come. Just hold on for a minute. I'm going to get the sauce because I like pregu. You know, you can do ragu, but really, if your seasoning right, then <laughs> you can use any sauce you want. But prego, I really favor that. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm using, I'm pouring the sauce over in it and uh, getting that in there. And I'm going to let this simmer for a while so it get all the good flavors in it. I just use prego, three cheeses. You can see it. You can use a regular one if you don't want the one with that. Whatever sauce that fits your taste buds, then you know you go for that. Don't listen to everybody else. I always go on what fits your taste buds. And you got to play around. You can't be scared to play around in the kitchen what fits you. Just because I say one thing, you might not like bell peppers. Don't put bell peppers. You might not like onions. Don't put onions. You know, you can use, I guess, an onion powder. Use onion powder a little heavier if you're not using it. You know, and... If you don't like garlic, I don't know what to tell you. You're not, you know, you're not doing Italian. <laughs> you're not doing Italian if you're not using garlic. Okay. So I'm going to let this simmer for a little bit. I got to go and check some stuff on the grill real quick. Be okay, right guys. Back. I'm just going to uh, get ready to do some noodles here that I have. These are the pasta ones. I always use the ones for the mozzarella and they got the ridges to it. I like those. But I'm going to put those in once the water gets to a boil. And I and make sure the people, this is for the people that don't cook at all. You add some salt to it, okay, to the water. If you're doing eggs, add some salt. And just let it come to a boil and drop the noodles down in there and let them cook. And it'll tell you how long it needs to cook. You don't want to overcook them so they don't be mushy. So... Just pouring the noodles in. And that's about it. Uh oh, we dropped some. I'm constantly having to clean, clean, clean. Make sure you pay attention. Stir your uh, pasta to keep it from sticking. You don't want it to stick, so just stir it. Keep it stirred up. You see me using a fork, girl. I'll be cooking in here. I'll be grabbing some of everything. But put the top on. Don't put it on because when it starts boiling, if you put it like this, it's going to boil over it. Even if you sometimes you had a fire low. But just keep it where it's getting a little air like like that so when it start boiling it uh it won't boil all the way over so i just spraying the pan a little bit then hold on i'm gonna take the noodles that i just strained and i'm pouring them in there see i'm not making a big one if i was doing the pan i'd probably use two and a half boxes of the, these noodles here right here but i'm not so my sauce is ready i'm coming on my way over there with that and I'm going to pour this sauce over here. And you don't be worried about pouring it like it's too much because these noodles absorb the sauce and you still want it to be juicy. It, it absorbs it. They like a sponge. So you don't want nobody want no dry monster trolley. Ugh, ugh, ugh. You can't do that. So you just mix it all in here. Tell me when nobody wanna tear that off. That's gonna be delicious. We ain't even put the cheese on top of it. Like, you know, see how it just look, you know, you gotta see seasoning. You don't know, I don't see no season. I know you ain't did no work. You know. And it's not it's not so much as like you say, it's salt, it's it's the um, herbs and spices that you're using. Now, guys, I got three, uh, I got, uh, I, you can really just use the Parmesan mozzarella or that. I like to just add cheese. I'm a cheesy person. So, right now, I'm going to just take this and you're going to sprinkle it all over it. And I'll sprinkle it and move my spoon out the way. I guess I can do that, huh? And uh, get the Parmesan all up in there. Because this is going to go in the oven. And I'm going to put it on probably around 350 once the oven is heated all the way up. And I'm going to put it on 350 for about 20 minutes. If you want the cheese to melt in there, you don't have to overcook it. You just want some cheese melted on top. I'm going to do an aisle of some mozzarella. 
I add some mozzarella on top of it. And a little bit more. A little bit more. Jigga, jigga, jigga. And then I'm going to put a little cheddar on top. You know, and you don't have to, because, but it looks good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a cheesy person. I'm the cheesy, pleasy, cheesy china person. Yeah. And uh, hold on. I have uh, a little parsley. I'm going to put on the flakes on top and just drop some. There's a couple of drop some on that. Now I'm going to put this in the oven and when it come out you'll see. And it is it's good. It's just a quick quick meal. It don't take that long. You know, you just got to have some patience, people. Have some patience. Okay, now when we come back, all of this will be melted into that. And it's ready for serving whenever you're ready. It's ready. So this is the finishing product of the masa choli that I did. I left it in the oven about 20 minutes and it's good to go. If you can see it, see how the cheese is. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're going to hurt somebody. Oh, ooh, just take that big chunk right there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, girl. Mm, man, what's up? Talk to me. Somebody give me some feedback. Give me a comment on this. Tell me. When you fix it and taste it, tell me what you think. Oh, that is going to be delicious. So, I'm going to get back another video. Share and like. Give me some comments. You know and subscribe and this is Frida kitchen and that's how I do it and while I'm just waiting I'm just waiting for the monster chili to come out the oven I'm just cutting these ribs down it's a little it was just like a half a slab of ribs I did with these right here see them you know nice juicy so have some patience I'm just cutting this up Whew, it's hot I know that coming off the grill so these are just some pieces and then these is the tips and you just cut them see they, they cut just like that you see how good those look you know let's see cameraman want to taste a piece you don't want to taste a piece right now I'm just saying. You could have took one, and cut it. Getting into the gristle part. See how juicy that look? Yeah. So you don't have to. If you do right, you really don't have to have all that sauce on your meat. It's a lot of people, this stuff hot. You just cut. You're just trying to get the meat cut. Don't be trying to be pretty with it. Watch your hands. Safety at all times. Fingers away from the blade. It's possible. Well, you cut all this meat off of here. People miss out on the, on the, on the tips. Because they don't know how to cut them. And you just cut them. See that? Cut it to the bristle. Look at that. Look at that meat. See that? That's how you do that. Just throw them over there. Ooh, you don't need no sauce with stuff like this. When they look like this, you don't need no sauce. People that put all that, a lot of sand, a lot of sauce. And if you like sauce, just put it on the side and dip it. Okay, guys, there it is. That's the monster choli right there. And you got the ribs right here on the side with some garlic bread. That's good. I got some jerk chicken on the grill. I didn't add that to it, but you know my trusty uh, iced tea. But that right there, all the flavors you need for the day. Did you understand? That's a pow in your mouth. And get a bang out of life. This is Freedom Kitchen, and I'm out. This is my Saturday. Good. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me?